Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn with MedNuggets. In today's video, we are going to talk about everything you need to know about calcium metabolism. In this video, I'm going to dive into a bit of physiology as well to make sure you understand these hormones really well. So let's begin. In our body, there are three hormones that regulate the blood calcium level. They are PTH, vitamin D and calcitonin. PTH and vitamin D increases the blood calcium level, while calcitonin decreases the blood calcium level. So what's the difference between PTH and vitamin D? Well, PTH decreases the phosphate level and increases the calcium level in the blood. Vitamin D, on the other hand, increases both the calcium and phosphate levels in the blood. So first let's have a look at vitamin D, how it increases both calcium and phosphate in the blood. Vitamin D can be obtained by food and vitamin D is synthesized on the surface of our skin when it's exposed to sunlight. However, this is an inactive form of vitamin D. This inactive form must get converted to its active form which is 125-dihydroxyvitamin D3, aka calcitriol, in order for it to perform its function, which is increase the body's calcium and phosphate level. So how does this inactive form get activated? It gets converted to 25-hydroxyvitamin D in the liver. We call this process 25-hydroxylation. And then in the kidneys, this is converted to the active form 125-dihydroxyvitamin D through the action of the enzyme 1-alpha-hydroxylase. This activation is regulated by parathyroid hormone and serum calcium and phosphate levels. This active form of vitamin D acts on your bones and the intestines to increase calcium absorption. In the bones, it increases rank L. What is rank L? So this needs a bit of recalling the basics. In our bones, there are two types of cells. They are osteoblasts and osteoclasts. Osteoblasts build bone, while osteoclasts break or crush bones. Osteoclasts need the help of osteoblasts in order to perform their job. In other words, they are dependent on the osteoblasts. Why and how? Osteoblasts secrete something called rank L. Osteoclasts have a receptor on them to bind that rank L. This interaction is crucial for the maturation and activation of osteoclasts. Once osteoclasts are activated, they start breaking down those bones and release calcium into the bloodstream, thus raising the blood calcium levels. The active form of vitamin D also exerts its effects at the level of the intestines. In the intestinal epithelial cells, calcitriol stimulates the expression of TRPV6 which is an ion channel that facilitates the passive transport of calcium from the intestinal lumen into the cell. Once inside the cells, calcium binds to calbindin, a protein that binds calcium. Calbindin acts like a vehicle transporting the calcium from this side to the basolateral side of the cell. Calcium is then actively transported out of the cell into the blood through the action of the calcium ATPase pump or the sodium-calcium exchanger. Vitamin D also increases the intestinal absorption of phosphate by promoting the expression of sodium phosphate co-transporters, which facilitate the uptake of phosphate from food. Now let's move on to parathyroid hormone. PTH increases blood calcium and decreases phosphate. So how does it do that? To answer that question, let's have a look at what exactly PTH is. 
PTH is secreted by our body's parathyroid glands. They are small, typically four pea-sized glands located on the back of the thyroid gland in the neck. And these glands secrete parathyroid hormone. PTH increases calcium and decreases phosphate by activating vitamin D and by exerting its effects on the kidneys. Activation of vitamin D, like we discussed before, increases calcium absorption at the level of our intestines and releases calcium from the bones, thus increasing the blood calcium level. In the kidneys, PTH enhances calcium reabsorption in the distal convoluted tubule and decreases the reabsorption of phosphate in the proximal convoluted tubule, thus raising the serum calcium level and decreasing the phosphate level. So the major difference between PTH and vitamin D is that one increases phosphate while the other decreases it. With that said, now let's look at calcitonin. Calcitonin opposes the actions of vitamin D and parathyroid hormone. Calcitonin is a hormone that is produced by the parafollicular cells or C cells of the thyroid gland. It inhibits the activity of osteoclast cells at the level of the bone and prevents the bone from breaking down and releasing calcium into the bloodstream. So this is how these three hormones regulate our body's calcium level. I hope you all understood something from today's video. You will forget at least half of the stuff I explained today, so come back to this video and watch it again. Thanks for tuning in today. Have a great day.